Hi there, I'm Luke and this is M5 Go in the Classroom. This is the M5 Go kit. You can do all sorts of cool stuff with it, such as designing video games or controlling robots. I'm going to show you how you can do these things. We can take you step by step and there's also a book that you can follow along with too. So let's get started. The M5 Go is a microcontroller. It's a pocket-sized computer that has less power than your laptop or your phone, but it can still do a lot of things. It's not going to run an OS or anything, but we can also control things like motors, lights, all kinds of different things that we connect to the M5. Uh, when we look inside the kit, we can see the device itself. It's got three buttons on the front. Uh, it's got a bunch of sockets around the side, place to stick an SD card. It's got a microphone hole. We can see that it's got all kinds of devices on it. You can see there's a bunch of Lego in the kit because this is a Lego compatible device. So you can build yourself a robot out of Lego and then use the M5 to control it. You'll see there's like a bunch of cables in the kit. Obviously we need to charge the device. Devices that we use are always run out of battery, you know. And these little white devices that you see in here, these are sensors. Sensors are what help the M5 go to interact with the physical world, such as uh, recording a sound and then converting it into data or digital. Uh, so then we can, you know, process it. Or it could be that uh, we want to know the distance between something and then a distance sensor can sense, sense the range and then give that as a number that we can read into the computer and then we can program something based on that. There's a whole bunch of different sensors in there and we're going to look at each of those sensors in each of the lessons and explain what it is, what it does and how we can use it in a practical application. Uh, the sensors need plugging into the device so that they can send the data over and we design them so they're color coded. The device has three ports, uh, a red port, black port, and a blue port. And also we can see on the sensors, the port is also color coded. So we would connect the black to the black port with these growth cables that are included in the kit. When we turn the device on, it'll go into a demo mode. This demo mode was designed so that we can figure out what does the M5 have inside it. It's not just like a little box that looks like a little TV. It's got a whole bunch of stuff inside it. And as we scroll through the demo pages, we see how can you turn this thing on? How do you turn it off? Ah, it has a speaker inside. We can see it has a microphone inside. You see the level peaking up and down. If we see this, we see the dot kind of rolling on the screen because it's got a gyro. This means it can sense which way it's being tilted, which position it is in, in relation to other things, what speed it's moving at, just as many of your mobile devices today have. It's got LED lights on either side flashing away. We can program these to be with whatever color we want. We can program to have animations, all kinds of stuff like that. And as we go through the pages, we see what I was talking about, different ports, A, B, and C, for plugging in different kinds of sensors. So let's try it, let's stick one in. So we'll grab the ENV sensor. This is, helps us to uh, know the temperature, mo uh, moisture, that kind of thing. Let's just plug in this ENV sensor and see what it does. So I take one of the cables, stick it into the red port, and then we stick the other side into the sensor. And instantly we can see some feedback on the screen. So this is what we're talking about with a sensor. It senses something in the physical world such as temperature and then transfers it to device as a numerical value. So then we can see, okay, the temperature is 23 degrees, something like that. And then we could control another sensor to say, okay, turn on the fan because it's too hot. And that's how we can use sensors in the kit. 
there's many different sensors as we go through the rest of the pages of the demo program. And I'd like you to test them out one by one and see if you can guess their function. And then later in the course, we'll be going into detail showing what each of these sensors can do. And so once we get to the end of the demo, you're probably thinking to yourself, how can we start to program the device? Well, that's where we're going to go next. Thank you.